All right, went to Lowe's, bought just miscellaneous pipe fittings, corners, angles, bits and pieces, pipes. All of that's one and a half inch. I'm going to try to uh, install a snorkel kit on my little bayou. The purpose of this is uh, so that I won't suck water up into the intake box like this little guy does as soon as the seat goes under the water, just a little bit. And uh, if it works, I'll be good. We'll find out. And basically, just to get started on this little video, this is the air box. I'm going to make an attempt at putting a hole in the air box in this area, like down in here. And then coming out with a 90, going up. It'll be behind the uh, body here, and I should be able to run the pipe up above the uh, spark plug up in that area. Keep it plenty far away from the exhaust pipe so that it doesn't get too hot. I got scheduled 40 PVC. It should, from what I've seen on another guy that did it on the internet, uh, worked out pretty good. Try to run it up through that way. And then, uh, you know, kind of under the gas tank. Hopefully I'm gonna use that little bar right there to strap it to and possibly, you know, pop up through the fender here and have my little snorkel pipe coming up, a little back turn. All right, I've done some basic kind of guesstimate and fit and figuring out how I'm gonna make this work, kind of a dry fit. That, I'm planning on putting a hole right in that area. Um, drop that guy down a little bit, kind of run it right there. I got a rubber um, connector right there to give me some flex to get around this pipe that's right there you can kind of see it um basically it's gonna be you know let's see if we can get a good shot here it's kind of hard to see but there's some space between the exhaust pipe and the other pipe um there should be ample room so that the plastic doesn't get too hot um, very hard to see at this point yeah there you go that's something something in that neighborhood right there um gonna run it up above the uh right hugging that pipe there and then your spark plug it's gonna be right there kind of run it eh, somewhere in that neighborhood i guess i don't really you know i'm trying to hold this and do all this at the same time but uh that's kind of where i've gotten to the nice thing is once i kind of work through all that getting it up to the fender is going to be a breeze it's wide open going that direction okay so far I've gotten it to that point, which is why some of the hardest areas to get to, you know. A lot, of, a lot of thinking, a lot of fitting, a lot of just contemplating to get it to this point. That's really the hardest spot, getting by that air box and back over. Plenty of clearance between it and the exhaust. Which I think, at this point, is pretty good. I mean, there is, oh, about a, I don't know, an inch, maybe a half inch between the pipe and that. And that's about the clearance that the rest of the plastic in the area has got, so I don't think it'd be much of a problem, heat-wise. And, uh, so anyway. So far, so good. Okay, at this point, basically I've kind of dry fit everything. Next piece I got here is this little guy. And you know, you kind of have to just cut and fit as you go, but you know, basically I'll get this guy up in here, something like that. Kind of kicks it back under the gas tank, which is what this plastic piece here is. And uh, then I got this long straight pipe. Oh, sorry. This guy. I'll go into the fender. Come up in here like so. And fit it. Now, of course, this is kind of still dry fitting it, but it's gonna go along those lines. Sorry. And then, of course, it's gonna lay under the gas tank. 
there's my bracket I was aiming for. Anchor to that and then eventually go up through the fender with a U and uh, put my little snorkel up top. You get the general idea. So now I want to start piecing this together. It's permanent from that point there back. The good thing about that deal, or that clamp is, I can take that clamp loose, I should be able to work this whole apparatus out of here. You know, it's not like it's going to be permanently stuck in the bike where I've got to cut it to get it out. Should be good. Okay, got a little ahead of myself. Didn't quite get all of this documented, but anyway. Um, got this glued, and I got that glued, and I'm going to hook this guy into this guy, and I used the rubber connector, kind of shoved it through the hole I drilled in the fender. So it's a nice bushing fit, looks really nice. You almost think it was factory like that, or somebody actually intended it to work that way. So yeah, it's, uh, I'll just take a worm clamp and put it on there to clamp my little pipe down. Of course, I'm not going to use one this big, but you get a general idea. <laughs> yeah, sink the whole bike. But um, and this way, I can also change out the uh, pipes. You know, if I want a smaller one or a taller one or whatever. You'll get to see that in a minute. But anyhow, so far, what I got, going back up into the fender, under the gas tank, when I get it mounted, it should kind of push it, it'll be shoved up against it like this when I get it all hooked up. Kind of holding it off the engine back here as well. And how it kind of moves a little bit, it'll be pushed back. So it'll all be good. Anyway, we're gonna get that hooked up and then I'll take another picture. All right, she's glued, tightened up, fitted. The uh, rubber bushing goes, or the rubber connector goes through the uh, fender. 90 down, a couple little offsets, little bends, kind of kicks it back up against the fender to kind of step it off from the engine back there a little bit. And uh, you'll notice it's good and snug. It's not jiggling, not going to move. It doesn't have the air box in a bind in any way because one of the problems that this little body for twin is, have according to my father, is the uh, that little boot right there comes loose off the carburetor. That box gets jacked around, so you don't want that to happen. It's going to be sucking dirt and everything else. But anyway, that's pretty much the deal. So she run all the way back to the air box. I've put a couple bolts in here to plug up the holes in the bottom of the air box. If it sits in water for any period of time, it doesn't come up into the bottom of the box. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. If it's not, I'll unplug them. But I do have bolts in it, so if I need to, if I can spot them or not. Uh, yeah, there they are. I can take the bolts out and drain the box myself. It's a 5 8 bolt. And just to uh, christen the new snorkel kit. Here's the last piece. We'll sit her right here. Take this little guy and I'll tighten it up. That's pretty much it. And I have a snorkel on a Bayou 220, homemade all the way. And this goes without saying, but just in case somebody was asking, what do you do about the original breather holes? You plug them up. That's some pieces of vinyl I put in there, and then I'm gonna put some silicone around it once it dries. It won't allow air in that way. The only way it's gonna get air is through the breather at the bottom of the housing now, which pulls air from up there. So. Anyway, I figured I'd point that out. So that's the last step. Hope y'all enjoyed watching it.